Now, good morning, good afternoon, people. Let's get it in and let's get it in right now because I wish there was some kind of way that y'all could just get this uh, goofball out of the uh, Oval Office, get him out of the White House, get his staff and the rest of them out of there because they are going to, uh, most narcissists have, it's called what you call an injury. And what y'all don't know, or you don't even seem to be concerned at all too much, a lot of y'all, I should say, that Donald Trump's ego has been wounded and he go, he's going to come back with vengeance. They are already saying that he's thinking, he, he wants to, um, they had to talk him out of messing with, um, and withdrawing truth from Afghanistan. I mean, that wouldn't have been a problem, except the way you do going about it is a little bit wild, and like everything else you do. But I believe he's going to do something real destructive in these last few days. What is it, 50-something days that we have to deal with him uh, in the office? It wouldn't be surprised. It wouldn't surprise me, I should say, if he does something real diabolical before he has to get up out of there. So you just prepare yourself. Uh, so you got the COVID to look out for, and you got Donald Trump. So I hope y'all staying safe. And the reason why I'm saying something, because you have to deal with the ignorance. Uh, and one of the reasons why I want this administration gone, completely out of the sight of human beings, is because they there is no end to their brutality. There's no end to what these white men will not do in terms of continuing the lies, in terms of trying to hold on to uh, uh, power, in terms of just being downright disrespectful and low down and inhumane. There's no rules that can't be broken when it comes to these infidels. So the latest a shocking uh, report to me was that a new rule could allow gas and firing squads for U.S. federal executions after the Justice Department quietly changed the rule requiring death sentences to be carried out by only lethal injection. Now, tell me something. Why would somebody even want to fuck with that? Why? Why would somebody... Because, see... This is what I'm saying when I when you know when the Bible speaks of spiritual wickedness in high places, or you hear people speaking of demonic energy and, and just demon filled individuals. This is what this is. This is a person that's so filled with hatred and and um I just abhor this kind of behavior. I mean, he they're so empty inside that they get off on other people's misery. You notice that Donald Trump, his whole presidency was just jab, 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 jab. There was never nothing nice, nothing he could say good about the people, nothing he could say about the country. And so y'all telling me there's nothing good about the country? Nothing? No. People like that only find the negative and they magnify it. Two and three and four thousand fold. Anyway. The amended rule published Friday in the Federal Register allows the U.S. government to conduct federal executions by any means allowed in the state. Previously, federal death sentences were to be carried out by lethal injection. A number of states allow other methods of execution, including electrocution, inhaling nitrogen, gas, or death by firing squad. It remains unclear whether the Justice Department will seek to use any methods other than the legal injection for executions in the future. The rule, though, which goes into effect on December 24th, comes as the Justice Department has scheduled five executions during the lame duck period. Three will take place just days before President-elect Joe Biden takes office. Uh, Alfred Burgess is set to be executed December 11th. Corey Johnson for January 14th. And Dustin Higgs for January 15th. 
firing squads and poison gas could now be permitted for U.S. executions with the Justice Department quietly amending its execution protocol that would no longer require the federal death sentences to be only be carried out by lethal injection. You know what gets me, though? Who gets to punish America for her lies, deceit, thievery, murder, death, rape, robbery? Who gets to punish these insane people for the crimes that they've committed against the human family? Who? I wait. You know, I think the whole race at some point needs a psyche valve. Those that are committing this kind of stuff and those who just sit back idly and say nothing. That whole race needs a mental evaluation. And they and, and the sad part about it is because of their psycho, uh, psychoticness is rubbing off on us as God's first human beings on the planet. Their madness has almost overtaken us. We have become uh, white people painted black. That's devastating. Peppa? Oh. Excuse me, guys. I'm sorry. Um, and, 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 you know, and I just want to know when the end game is going to be. You know, the amended rule published Friday in the Federal Register allows the U.S. government to conduct executions by lethal injection or use any other manner prescribed by the law in the state in which the sentence was imposed. So there's a number of states that do allow a, fi a firing squad right now. Um, of course, the Justice Department officials say the change was made to account for the fact that uh, the Federal Death Penalty Act requires sentences to be carried out in the manner prescribed by the law of the state, which the sentence is imposed. And some of those states use methods other than lethal injection. The change is likely to set off intense criticism from Democrats and anti-death penalty advocates as the Trump administration tries to push through a number of rule changes before Trump leaves office. Y'all be better off throwing this guy out of here. Everybody that's going to be executed, of course, are black. Um, everybody, these three individuals, will be executed are black people. And unfortunately, I just don't think the Justice Department or anything in America should not be in a position to put anybody to death. Nobody. Not with the history and the blood dripping from your hands. It's a joke. However, that's what it is, you guys. The new rule could allow gas and firing squads for federal execution. All right, there you have it. I'll see y'all in the next video.